Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to today's presentation brought to you by the Society of Decision Professionals and the Decision Analysis Society, which is entitled Group Decision Making, How Can We Make It Work Better? Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone, depending on the time zone you find yourself in. Uh, thanks for joining. What I would like to try to address today is the following. Um, I'll first say something about why we need to talk about group decision making at all, uh, since if unsupported traditional group decision making was perfect, then there's not much room for improvement and we don't need to address any possibilities for changing or any methods for further improving group decisions. I'll show some research by Paul Nutt, which shows that indeed there are some things that could be done better and then try to explain why we see those things in unsupported decision making by looking at the phase of selecting. That means uh, how do we select the problem we're going to address and then uh, what information that we can bring to bear on this is actually selected as relevant. How do we share between group members in a live discussion? Um, how do we analyze the information that's brought to bear? And then in the end, how do we work towards implementation? And I will argue that all of these phases and all these shortcomings, they apply to all kinds of different uh, uh, decision-making problems. So they apply to routine decisions and they might not come to the fore so much in routine decisions. If your competition is doing exactly the same as you, you might not realize that you could have done a better job. But when it comes to complex and messy decisions that have more far reaching consequences that might actually threaten the survival of an organization, then it becomes more crucial to ensure that we share all the relevant information, that we do a good job at analysis and that everybody is fully supporting the implementation of the decision. So I'll turn to complex and messy problems and say a little bit about that and how it changes the phases in decision making. 